Hi guys. I just wanted to do this little review thing real quick. Um, I kind of feel bad, but um, you know me, I'm going to be honest. And I just wanted to throw out a little warning about stuff. Um, I bought two of these. Um, I had a coupon for it, buy one get one free, so I got two of them for $1.98. And Arm and Hammer Essentials deodorant with natural um, deodorizers. And it says no aluminum, no parabens. Contains the Arm and Hammer baking soda and natural plant extracts. Um, with me, um, I have to be really careful with what I use with deodorant because I, I do have sensitive skin. Um, with me, it started making me itch by the second day of use, so I had to discontinue it. My daughter, as you can see in the pictures, I took pictures. Uh, three days in, you can see the first picture is three days. And she found, she got really scared and she came and showed me and I took a picture of it. Um, that's how it turned out. Uh, not as red, but by the fourth day, guys, she wasn't even using this. Wasn't even using it. The fourth day, it was redder and her skin was peeling off. And it really, really, really scared her. Um, the only thing that we could put on her um, hold on. Um, by the fourth day of non-use, you could see what her thing, what her armpit was. Um, we, I put aloe on it, aloe vera, um, because I really figured with it being kind of like a burn, it would help soothe it. And guys, it did. Oh my goodness. Um, you know, she was putting cold compresses on it. Um, a poor girl went through pure, you know what. Um, it took like four days to for the redness to calm down. Um, the aloe vera did help her. But guys, just because stuff says it's all natural, it's not going to. And there is the warning, just like on on deodorants, um, do not use on broken skin, which her skin was not broken. But it does say also, if a rash or irritation develops, please discontinue. Um, so now I have two of these. And no one, I'm afraid to give it to anybody else in my family because of how, what, you know, it started making me itch, you know, my armpits. And then within three days, <sighs> it totally broke her out. And by the fourth day, her skin was literally peeling off. And so I kind of treated it like a, um, a sunburn with the aloe vera. So I'm just saying, guys, please be careful. Even though stuff says it's natural, it's not always good for you. Um, I'm now stuck with two of those. Like I said, one of my other kids may be able to use it. And the only reason why I got it is the only laundry soap we can use is Arm and Hammered. So I really figured it would be okay. No. Nope. Her body and my body didn't like it. Um, I do know that my seven-year-old, he's learning to wear deodorant. He put it on yesterday. He had no problem so far. Um, by with me it was my second day with her it was by the third day so I'm going to keep an eye on him and if he doesn't have a reaction to it then he'll be okay with it but I'm glad I only paid two dollars for two of them you know thank God for a coupon I got one of them free so my only thing is guys please just be careful you know if it starts itching or you break out in a rash or your skin starts taking off or peeling off discontinue it immediately um, I also was giving her, um, Benadryl to help, you know, counteract it in her body, um, because it just got redder by the next day. And I, that just really scared me. And that's what, um, her pediatrician told me to do. Um, so Benadryl and then the aloe vera, because I, like I said, I just treated it as a, um, as a sunburn. And basically that's what they told me it was kind of like, um, just to be very, very careful and, um, do the cold, you know, compresses to help cool it down. And then we rubbed it down with the aloe vera. We wouldn't let her outside until it, it went away because I knew the heat would actually, you know, make it worse. Because here in Florida, even though we're getting a bunch of rain, it is still very hot here. Um, I think today is supposed to be, I think, 90s, high 80s, something like that. But the humidity and all that is already kicking in. Hmm. Um, so, yeah, when we had those couple days of cool weather, we enjoyed it. But... Mama Bear Keto, just being honest, please be careful. Even if it says natural, sometimes natural ingredients is not going to agree with you. Some of these ingredients, I can't even read. 
um, <laughs> I'm not going to even try. So we had to take her back to what we were originally getting her and what we were getting me. And you know what, guys? It's from the Dollar Tree. Um, they have the secret and the speed stick. And we went both back to that. And she wears secret. I wear the speed stick. I can't wear anything else but the dove and the speed stick, men's speed stick. Um, everything else does to me what just happened to her. Um, so she's been doing fine on the one secret. I believe it is fresh scent. Um, absolutely, guys, please be careful. Even if it says natural, stop use, please. If it's your itching, burning, uh, disc, uh, any discomfort at all. Um, I just, you know, like I said, having kids and my husband and all that, just please be careful. So, okay, I'm done running my mouth about that. I just want to be honest and throw that out there. Um, you guys all have a blessed day, and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye. Actually, see y'all later.